Florian Albert, my, is my name Flo. Um, I'm happy to present the company Everest Reality. And as it was already mentioned, we are on this mission to create a virtual copy of the Earth. And we're targeting this towards helping autonomous driving down on Earth. So we are here to empower synthetic training data generation and simulation-based testing of autonomous vehicles. Um, for us, simulation is key to get to these autonomous vehicles here on Earth because there are so many risky things you need to do while developing such vehicles. It's better to have a backup Earth, or as we call it, a safe space for development. Um, but you need to have the right world to do that. So we deliver any place on Earth to automotive R&D teams in a, as you can see here, square kilometer-wise presentation, 3D representation. Um, and on the street level, it looks like this little thing which you see on the right here. Um, we deliver only the static environment. That means this is ready to be populated by others. We'll see this in a second. And we are able to do this because we're working on space tech. We're looking at the Earth from above, so we do not need to have mapping vehicles that drive all over the Earth to give us the data we need. We leverage the data which is already there globally and off the shelf. And then we run this pipeline. This is our core which was developed by my two colleagues over there. Um, we're using satellite images. We're analyzing them. So this is land cover uh, analysis and other stuff. And then comes the main part, the magic. We do a reconstruction that then automatically reconstructs what we've seen on this image and have a ready to simulate world after a few minutes. Um, interestingly, the later part, the reconstruction is almost real time capable. The AI is to be optimized, but we're pretty confident to get to some interesting points. Um, yep. So we're addressing two main tasks in autonomous driving. We're a key enabler here for, on the one hand side, the training. So making the car, um, explaining to the car what it sees. So by synthetic training data, which is generated in a virtual world, which comes from us. And on the other hand side, the second topic, testing the autonomous vehicle, checking whether it reacts correctly. It is better to do that in a safe space in a virtual world, which comes from us. So overall, we're having uh, benefits to customers that are on the one hand side reducing the time which it takes to set up simulations, of course also reducing the risks of humans uh, in the loop, and on the other hand side increasing the quality of AI data that we need to develop driving algorithms and the quality of simulation because the simulations are flexible, can be varied and stuff because it's all based on numbers and parameters in the way that we construct it. We do not only want to address, at the end of the day, the automotive industry, but we're a team of automotive experts. So that's why we've chosen this, and we've heard about this already, so there's some need for space tech maybe, but it can also be used for any sensor-based systems out there. So also 3D mobility, drones, urban air taxis, and at the end of the day, maybe also gaming and metaverse context. Um, we're currently looking for collaborative partners to do POC projects. If you are here, happen to be venturing, we're also fundraising at the moment, so happy to discuss that later on. Thanks.